men are to each other what a pebble is to a crane. What's going on? My name is Stetson with You to Man. We are an environment where men help each other become the best version of themselves. I am here to help you become the man in your own life. And today we're going to be talking about cranes and pebbles and accountability and our relationships with other men and why it matters how this all ties in. Before we jump in, uh, I want to mention that you to man, if you go to youtoman.online or if you follow me at YDM Stetson on all social platforms, like obviously here on YouTube, then we've got a ton of other resources. We've got coaching, community, courses, all that fun stuff, all for you to be for to help you become the best version of yourself. For we are firm believers that a rising tide raises all ships, the best is yet to come, and radical success is never achieved on accident. Cranes are a lot like flamingos. You no know, cranes, the bird. They're a lot like flamingos in that they typically sleep on the ground and they, uh, they they live in flocks and they stand on one leg. You know, flamingos are kind of famous for like standing on one leg. But here's the reason uh, why a crane would stand on one leg while it's sleeping. So, like I said, cranes live in flocks. They sleep on the ground, but that leaves them pretty susceptible to predators. So what they do is one crane always stays awake and keeps watch. Sorry, got my hand in the camera. <laughs> One crane always stays awake and keeps watch for predators. So how does that crane stay awake? What they do is they stand on one leg, and in the leg that's up, in those talons, they pick up a rock or a pebble. That way, if they start falling asleep, those talons are going to relax. It's going to drop the pebble. It's going to wake them up, right? Uh, so what does this mean for you? Why are we talking about this? This isn't National Geographic. Well, men need other men to hold them accountable. Men need other men who can relate, who can meet them where they're at to help them in their journey, to help stay awake. Here's the deal. Life is a team game. None of us were meant to go through it alone. And so the thought of, hey, I'm just going to hustle. I'm just going to struggle. I'm just going to, I'm going to do it all by myself. I'm going to be self-made. That's cool. It sounds great. It's fine and dandy. But I'm telling you that one plus one does not equal two in this, in this sense. One plus one equals three. A whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And so if you want to get to that next level, if you if you have this, this desire to want more out of life, I'm telling you, you need to have a community of other men who are going to hold you accountable. Hey, you're that crane. That crane says, I'm going to stay awake and I'm going to keep watch. That pebble is holding the crane accountable to do just that. And more than holding it accountable, it's helping, right? So in a similar way, this is what we do at You to Man, actually, in the community aspect is we talk all the time about accountability. But with accountability, we set commitments, right? So in our coaching, we we set a five-year vision, we set annual benchmarks, then we set quarterly goals, and we track our daily habits to make sure we hit those quarterly goals, to make sure we hit those annual benchmarks, to make sure we achieve our five-year vision. That way, when five years comes around and we achieve everything that we want to achieve when we have the life that we want to have, it's no secret, right? Nobody, nobody stumbled into success. Nobody uh, unintentionally achieved all their dreams, right? Uh, you know, I think that's why everybody's so infatuated with the lottery and hitting the jackpot is because it completely 100% defies every bit of, of, you know, natural progression and common instinct and like everything that humans have been built upon and, and, and been taught over the last thousands and thousands of years, right? So where am I going with all this? is within those daily habits that we track, we also talk about commitments. We set one to three commitments every week, and we say, this is what I'm going to do this week. I'm committed to it. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Now, sometimes life happens. Life gets in the way, right? But what we can't do is use that as an excuse. You know, I talk all the time, and I've said it on a, a couple previous YouTube videos, is so many people, especially Americans, go through life like they're drunk in the backseat of a taxi cab, being driven around, who knows where they're going, who knows who's even driving, but they're having a good time, whatever, until they wake up 50 years later and realize, wow, I have no idea where I am, right? We want to get you out of the passenger seat. We want to get you out of the back seat and into the driver's seat so that you are in charge of where you're going. Win, lose, or draw, it's going to be up to you. That's that extreme ownership uh, aspect that we talk about also. So 
Anyway, bring this full circle. With those commitments that we set every week in our coaching, sometimes we have to institute a reward and a punishment system. What that looks like is, hey, if I complete all these three commitments, which I should, I'm going to complete all three of these commitments, then I'm going to give myself a little bit of reward. You know, I'm going to uh, take my wife out for dinner or I'm going to, uh, you know, spend money on that that new thing that I want or whatever it is, right? A small reward. But we also set a punishment. And I'm not saying that it's good to be motivated out of fear. I'm not saying that, that uh, you know, that's something that we can and should rely on. But I am saying that, uh, fear is a mechanism and we can either use it or it can be used by us. I'm telling you right now, I've got a commitment right now that I am, I've got three commitments this week and I am close to not hitting them. And if it was any other week, any other time, man, I, I might not hit it, but guess what? My punishment is a hundred burpees every morning for the next week. If I don't hit it. So this week, it's not the reward that's motivating me. It's not the reward that is going to make me hit it. I guarantee you I complete those three those three commitments this week because I absolutely 100%, without a doubt, hate burpees with every ounce of my soul. And so am I motivated out of fear this week? Yeah, sure. But I'm going to leverage fear. I'm going to use fear. I'm not going to let fear use me. And uh, again, by being intentional about that, by recognizing it, by recognizing it I am going to to profit, to benefit off of my own fears. That's how we use fear to help us in our accountability. And that's how we use accountability to accomplish everything that we want to accomplish, become everything that we want to become. Again, this is exactly what we do at Udeman uh, through our one-on-one coaching, uh, through our community. And again, the community is so, so big. The accountability to say, hey, didn't you say you had those three commitments? You haven't hit one of your commitments for the last few weeks. Let's institute a reward and a punishment system, right? Or what do you think about uh, easing back your commitments? What do you think about uh, ramping up your commitments? What do you think about uh, about taking your goals for your habit tracking and, hey, you, you've been at 95% completion rate on uh, tracking your habits for the last, uh, you know, three weeks. Let's ramp that sucker up. You know, of course we want to hit 100%, but if you're hitting 100%, then uh, you're not shooting for the stars. You're, uh, you know, you're shooting for the clouds. We shoot for the stars and hope to land on the clouds. Is that a B.O.B. song? I don't know, something like that. But anyway, the point of this video, the point of you watching this YouTube video, the point of you being on this channel, looking at my face, listening to me for eight minutes, is just this. You were not meant to live an average life. You were not meant to be driven around the backseat of a taxi cab. You were not meant to not fulfill your potential. When you show up to the gates of heaven, now this isn't biblically accurate, so stay with me, but when you show up to the gates of heaven, there's going to be two of you there. There's going to be yourself, and there's going to be the person that you could have become had you lived an intentional, action-oriented life. I don't know about you, but I want those two people to be identical. I want those two versions of myself to be absolute 100% identical twins, because I want to know that I took full advantage of this life, that I took full advantage of the gifts and the energy and the time that God gave me so that I can become the best version of myself. And it's not just for me. Sure, part of it is a, a little bit of selfish pursuit, selfish loosely. You know, it's a little bit of a selfish pursuit in the sense of, hey, I want to fulfill this because I want to fulfill it. I want to see what I'm capable of. But also there's bigger goals, there's bigger dreams, there's things that are going to last beyond you. You know, I, I want to make a million dollars a year, right? But number one, it's not because I want to go buy a bunch of crazy cars and private jets and this and that. Um, it's twofold. Number one, because I want to set my family up with generational wealth for generations to come. And number two, and more so, I want to prove to myself that I can do it. I want to prove to myself that, hey, the best version of myself makes a million dollars a year, so I can too. And again, I cannot, would not, and would never wish of thinking about doing that alone. Life is a team game and you have teammates, you have people out there who are rooting for you, who are there for you, even if you don't see them, even if you don't think about it, even if you don't even know who they are, they are out there. So go and find them. And by the way, you just found one right here. I'm rooting for you. I love you. I'm proud of you. Go kick some tail today. Become the best version of yourself. And again, if you want help along the way, go to youdaman.online. That's Y-O-U-D-A-M-A-N dot online. My name is Stetson, at YDM Stetson on all platforms. 
go ahead, check out what I have to offer. Check out what we do for men just like you who want more out of life. We get you in the same room. We get cool people in the same metaphorical room doing cool things, talking about worthwhile efforts and becoming the best version of ourselves. We can and will get there together. One plus one equals three. And I want you to be part of that journey. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.